this is going to be a setup and kind of review of the Mita mouse trap. Now it comes in a package of four, and the pricing is really good. The problem is I only got three of them in the package, so... Uh, but there are no instructions with this thing, and when you look at the pictures, it's really confusing on how you set it up. My advice to you is use extreme caution, just like they say on their website, because you could cause some serious damage to your hands or your fingers if you screw this up. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up now, and again, you really need to use extreme caution. What you want to do is get your treat. You want to put peanut butter or cheese or whatever you want to use. Everybody's got their own way of doing it. Uh, some say it works, some say it doesn't, but that's up to you how you want to do it. So you get your mouse trap, and again, use extreme caution. Get this clip out of the way. Bend it over to the side. Don't bend it, but move it over to the side. Now this is where you need to use extreme caution, and that's what I'm going to do too, because I'm doing a video and I don't want to chop off my finger showing you how to do this. So get this clip out of the way. Now this is the tricky part. This thing has an enormous amount of tension on it. And if this thing snaps on your finger, you're going to hurt yourself. Because that's what's going to be used to take care of the, uh, the mouse or the rat or whatever you are trying to capture. Okay, this is where you've got to be careful. This is called the arm bar. This is called the kill bar. You want to get the kill bar. This is why you, <clears throat> you got to use extreme care. Hold this thing down with your thumb and get the kill bar out of the way. And that is why you, want, you don't want your fingers anywhere near here when you're doing this. You hold the kill bar, take the arm bar, and slide it. Now it doesn't want to move. It's kind of caught in the bottom right there. So let me get this out of the way so that I don't hurt myself. Um, okay. Take the kill bar out of the way. Make sure that if it slips, your fingers will not get hurt. Take the arm bar and put it over the top of the kill bar. See how it's over the top of this? get it into this slot here. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to get my fingers out of the way. Make sure now you can see I'm getting, use a lot of caution when you're doing this. Got the finger over here. I've got this bar in here. And I'm going to lift up the yellow thing, and then I'm going to release some of the pressure on the kill bar. Be very careful when you do this. Okay, so you can see what's going on now is, so why am I getting my, why is my voice getting quiet like this is a movie and it's dramatic? You can see what's going on now is I've released some of the pressure on the kill bar. The kill bar is raised up, and it's holding the, uh, this trigger bar up and now we're going to test it out and see what would happen. I'm looking for something to simulate a mouse in the house. Got a nail file here. I don't really know how a mouse would attack this thing or where it would get the treat from. I believe the treat goes into here. So let's assume that the mouse, I don't know how this triggers. Mouse goes over here to grab the treat. Now, I think the mouse is going to get the treat by now because the, uh, the mouse has already gotten away with the treat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That mouse, the neck on the mouse would be gone in a second. Yikes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that's my review of the... Uh, <laughs> Of this trap. This thing is awesome. I don't know if it's going to catch the mice, but I can definitely tell you that this trap is highly effective and it will work if a mouse happens to go and touch where it's supposed to. Wow. 
This is the other mouse trap that I am going to be reviewing. I just did uh, one that uh, snaps the neck, and now I believe this is supposedly the more humane way to do it. This is the mouse trap. It's really small. It's definitely made for mice. And I'm assuming that you trigger it by springing this down somehow. I'm going to keep my fingers on the outside just to protect myself. And I don't know if this is a one-time use. I think with something like this, if the mouse was in here, I probably would not want to uh, remove it and wash this thing, considering uh, rabies and other problems. I think if it was in here, I would just toss the whole thing. So I'm going to activate it. I think by activating it, you just squeeze it downward. And I'm going to keep my fingers on the edge and out of the way to see what happens. And that is not how you activate it. So there must be something inside here that I need to do. No instructions come with this thing. But it does look like there is a little clip and a holder here. So let's see if I can get this to activate somehow. I don't know why people sell items and they don't show you how to activate things, but that is what's going on here. And so I think I figured it out. There's a little hook over here and you're supposed to do something to activate it. Okay, but it's activated. It's, it's attached right now. I don't know why. But there is a little clip in there and I'm going to put this down and we're going to act like the nail file is a mouse and I'm just going to lightly drop this down on here and see what happens. Oh! Whoa! Man! Yikes, yikes! Um, I will say that this is probably a little easier as far as danger, if you're worried about uh, snapping a finger, I don't think this is going to hurt a human being as much. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt, but it's not going to cause serious damage. The one with the kill rod that snaps the neck, that could do a little more damage. But this, the, these things are pretty effective. Okay, so there, there it's, now it's latching. It's latching fairly easily. So it triggers easily. I'm just going to lightly act, drop this thing down, and we'll see what happens. Um, lightly tap it and see the mouse's paw would go on here. Nothing, nothing. I'm going to drop it now. Whoa, 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 and this thing goes flying across the room. So this is uh, my review. This thing's very awesome. I like it. Between uh, that product and this mouse trap here, I think you're going to catch anything and everything that you need. So uh, really nice products, and the price is reasonable. Good luck catching the mouse in the house.